everybody and welcome to this video where we are going to talk about conscious influencers because I didn't even know what this was until about a week ago or actually not even that long ago. I'm brand new. I'm, I'm new. So I was asked the question if the conscious influence style is something I recommend people do. And again, I didn't, I didn't know what the fuck that was. So I looked into it, um, watched a couple videos. There are some things that I think are very interesting about it. So one of those things is that, oh, in case you don't know what it is, I should probably tell you. So it's basically finding someone whose work you like and then writing it word for word, finding out how they write, finding out the rhythm of how they write, the words they use, um, how they structure their sentences, how they structure their paragraphs and all this other stuff. It was interesting because when I, the videos that I watched about this from a few different people, they talked about it as, you know, the greats. This is how they did it, you know, like hundreds of years ago. And the reason why is because like, you got to really think about this. Like there was no TV, there was no internet. There was no way of being able to take classes with somebody unless you just happen to live next to a university or in, if, in case you happen to move somewhere where someone who could do something like that would be. So the idea of taking a book and copying it word for word and then studying what the hell you just did is a really good way of learning how to write. Now, when I say that, that this is what the, the greats did, this also means that there were probably a ridiculous multitude more of people who also did this who were not great and who didn't end up becoming writers of any size or stature or whatever. It all really boils down to how you learn and what you want from your learning and what you hope to gain from doing something like this. Now, when I was a kid, I used to get my comic books and get typing paper and put typing paper on top of my comic books and I would trace the stuff to learn how to draw and like run my pencil over it and see if I could figure it out how to do it. And that didn't work. I still can't draw over shit. You know, that's not my fucking strong suit. And that's okay. And I'm not saying that this is the same thing. But there are different videos that tell you different ways to go about it. And there was one video, and this is awful. Because I, I never fucking, like, make notes of any of this stuff. I just go through these, like, binges where I'm, like, watching video after video after video after video. And I'm probably going to even tell you how to do this wrong. But, like, the way I'll say it kind of made sense to me was the first thing this person would do is copy. And in the video, I think um, they were copying It by Stephen King. And they were writing out everything that Stephen King wrote. And as they were doing it, they were saying it out loud so they could hear the rhythm, so they can like hear how the the pauses, the periods, the hyphens, the semicolons, how all of this stuff worked together, okay? And then what they did after that was they would write a section of the book like that, and then they would write about what they learned from that, right? Like how Stephen King talked about hay, or how um, the metaphor of the moon did blah, 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 whatever, and just like, talk about what they learned from that. And then finally, they would then write something the way they thought Stephen King would write it, okay? And that sounds like a really fun exercise. I don't know how much of that is like teaching you anything. I, like I don't know how much of that will stick with you when you're writing, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then as far as like the more standard version of this is, which is just writing out a whole book of someone you like. Um, it If you think it'll help you, by all means fucking do it, you know? Um, do I think you will start to sound like that person? 
probably if you only do this with one author. Like, if you're like, oh, I really like Dean Koontz, so I'm going to rewrite every book Dean Koontz ever wrote. Then you, after doing something that huge in scope, there's a good possibility that you're going to sound a little bit like Dean Koontz. But at the same time, if you do that with a bunch of different people you like, maybe you'll become like the love child of those people. Maybe taking, I don't know, Dr. Seuss, Michael Crichton, Dean Koontz, and Rupi Cower. Maybe that will make you a very unique writer. Would I put all my eggs in that basket? No, I would not. But anything's worth a try, and experiments are fun to do. So if any of this sounds like fun, definitely do it. If this sounds like something you want to try or that you have tried, let me know down below. I would love to hear what you got out of that. That, that would be amazing to hear about. So by all means, please let me know if that's something you've done um, or if it's something that you're thinking about doing. Um, yeah, and so I guess that's it. So um, keep buying my books. Type hard, everybody. And I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.